Hey again, what's up, YouTube, YouTubers? So just feel like um, reading the book, the book of Ecclesiastes, since I can correlate plenty of what it says to you know to the matters and things that tend to occur in my life. So without further ado, let's begin. Um, the book of Ecclesiastes or the Preacher, chapter one, the words of the preacher, the son of David. King in Jerusalem, vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit has a man of all his labor, which he taketh under the sun? One generation path passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteth to his place where he arose. The wind goeth towards the south, and turneth about unto the north. It will, um, it, um, it whirleth about continually, and the wind returneth again according to his circuits. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Unto the place from whence the rivers come, neither they return again. All things are full of labor, man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof it may be said, See, this is new, it hath been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of form former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are about to come with those that shall come after. I, the preacher, was, was king over Israel in Jerusalem, and I gave my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. This sure travail hath God given to the sons of men to be exercised therewith. I, I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. I commute with mine own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate, and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart hath great experience of wisdom and knowledge. And I give my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also is vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. Chapter 2 I said in my heart, Go to now, I will prove thee with mirth. Therefore enjoy pleasure, and behold, this also, this also is vanity. I said of laughter, it is mad. And of mirth, what does what doth it? I sought in my heart to give myself unto wine, yet acquainting my heart with wisdom, and to lay hold on folly, till might till I might see what was that good for the sons of men, which they should do under the heaven all the days of their life. I made me great works, I builded me houses, I planted me vineyards, I made me gardens and orchards, and I planted trees in them of all kinds of fruits. I made me pools of water, to water therewith the wood that bringeth forth trees. I got me servants and maidens, and had servants born in my house. Also I had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me. I gathered me also silver and gold, and the peculiar treasure of kings and of the provinces. I got, I got me men sinners and women sinners, women singers, and the delights of the son of men as musical instruments, and all and that of all sorts. So I was great, and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. Also my wisdom remained with me, and whatsoever mine eyes desired 
I kept not from them. I withheld not my heart from any joy, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my portion of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought, and on the labor that I had labored to do, and behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no profit under the sun. And I turned myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly. For what can the man do that cometh after the king, even that which hath been already done? Then I saw that wisdom excelleth, ex ex excelleth, excelleth folly, as far as light excelleth darkness. The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walketh in darkness. And I myself perceived also that one event happeneth to them all. Then I said, then said I in my heart, as it happened, it happeneth to the fool, so it happeneth even to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart that this also is vanity. For there is no remembrance of the wise more than of the fool forever, seeing that which now is in the days to come shall all be forgotten. And how dieth the wise man as the fool? Therefore I hated life, because the work is that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me, for all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Ye, I hated all my labor which I had taken under the sun, because I should leave it unto the man that should be after me, and who knoweth whether he shall be a wise man or a fool. Yet shall he have rule over all my labor wherein I have labored, and wherein I have showed myself wise under the sun. This is also vanity. Therefore I went, I, I, I went about to cause my heart to despair of all the labor which I took under the sun. For there is a man whose labor is in wisdom and in knowledge and in equity. Yet to a man that hath not labor therein shall, shall he live it for his portion. This, is, this also is vanity and a great evil. For what hath a man of all his labor, and of all, of, and of the vexation, vexation of his heart, wherein he hath labored under the sun? For all his days are sorrows, and his travail grief. Yea, ye, his heart taketh not rest in the night. This is also vanity. There is nothing better for a man that, <clears throat> than that he should eat and drink and that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw, that it was from the hand of God, for whom, I, whom can eat, or whom else can hasten hereunto more than I. For God giveth to a man that is good in his sight wisdom, and knowledge and joy, but to, sin, to the sinner he giveth travail, to gather and to heap up, that he may give to him that is good before God. This also is vanity and vexation of spirit. Chapter 3. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up, pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance, and a time to dance. Yeah, just need to switch my accent. I beg your pardon. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rent, and a time to, to sow. To seal or to sow, sorry. Um, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in, in it. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also he hath set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. 
I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doth, and God doth it, doth, and God doth it, that men should fear before him. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And God requireth that which is past. And moreover, I saw under the sun the the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there, and um, no end. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men, that God might manifest them, and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts. Even one thing befalleth them. As the one dieth, so dieth the other. Ye, they have all one breath. So that a man hath no preeminence above a beast. Preeminence above a beast. For all is vanity. All go unto one place. And are, all are of the dust. And all turn to dust again. Who knoweth the spirit of a man that goeth upward, and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the, to the earth? Wherefore I perceive that there is nothing better than a man should rejoice in his own works. For that is his portion. For who shall bring him, who shall bring him to see what shall be after him? Chapter 4. So I returned and considered all that oppressions that are done under the sun, and behold the tears of the such as were oppressed, and they had no comforter, and on the, on the side of their oppressors there, were pow there was power, but they had no comforter. Wherefore I praise the dead which are already dead more than the living which are yet alive. Ye, better is he than both they which hath not yet been, who hath not seen the evil work that is done under the sun. Again, I considered all travail, all travail, and every right work, that for this is a man is envied of his neighbor. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. The fool foldeth his hands together, and eat and eateth his own flesh. Better is a handful with quietness than both the hands full with travail and vexation of spirit. Then I returned, and I saw vanity under the sun. There is one alone, and there is not a second. Ye, he hath neither child nor brother, yet is there no end of all his labor. Neither is his eye satisfied with riches, neither saith he, For whom do I labor, and, and bereave my soul of good? This is also vanity, ye, it is a sure travail. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. So, um, a moment of a pause. I always suspect, you know, um, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, uh, verses um, 9, 9 through 12, kind of um, implicitly suggest that um, homosexual, homosexuality kind of um, brings more comfort than those who are, have already found themselves homosexual um, and yet they face condemnation from both sides they're, they're, they're themselves and God and churches and all from all over the from from all d um, directions so this is kind of sad um, but um, yeah let's continue better is a poor and a wise child than an old and foolish king who will no more be ad ad admonished for out of 
prison he cometh to reign, whereas also he that is born in his kingdom be cometh poor. I considered all the living which walk, walk under the sun, with the second child that shall stand up in his, stand, in his stead. There is no end of all the people, even of all that have been before them. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. Chapter 5 Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore let thy words be filled, be filled, be filled, be filled. For a dream cometh through the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by multitudes of words. When thou wowest a vow unto God, defer not to pay it, for he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. <coughs> Better is it than thou shouldest not vow, for then that thou should, shouldest vow and not pay. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin, neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice, and destroy the work of thine, heart, of thine hands? For in the multitude of dreams and many words there are also diverse vanities. But fear thou God, if thou seest the oppression of the poor, and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province. Marvel not at the matter, for he that is higher than the higher God. Shh. Intruder comes. Pardon me. I beg your pardon. I'll see you guys again later. I beg your guys pardon again. Sorry. Um, my an uncle of mine just came here and picked up the moon cakes I bought him as a gift. So, um, also a return favor. So, um, let's continue. Where were we? Um, yeah. Chapter 5, verse 8. If thou, um, if thou seest the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province. Marvel not at the matter, for he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there be higher than they. Moreover, the profit of the, of the earth is for all. The king himself is served by the field. He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance with increase. There, this is also vanity. When goods increase, they, um, they are incre increased that eat them, and what good is there to the owners thereof, saying the beholding of them with their eyes. The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eat little or much, but the abundance of the rich will not suffer him to sleep. There is also um, there is a sure evil which I have seen under the sun, namely riches kept for the owners thereof to their hurt. But those riches perish by evil travail, and he begetteth a son, and there is nothing in his hand. And as he came forth of his mother's womb, naked shall he return to go as he came, and shall take nothing of his labor, which he may carry away in his hand. And this also is a sure evil, that in all points as he came, so shall he go. And what profit hath he that hath labored for the wind? All his days also he eateth in darkness, and he hath much sorrow and wrath with his, his sickness. Behold, that which I have seen, it is good and comely for one to eat and to drink, and to enjoy the good of all his labor that he taketh under the sun all the days of his life, which God give him, which God give, give, give him, for it is his portion. Every man also to whom God hath given riches and wealth, and hath given him power to eat thereof, and to take his portion, and to rejoice in his labor. This is the gift of God, for he shall not much remember the days of his life, because God answereth him in the joy of his heart. 
There, chapter 6. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men, a man to whom God hath given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanteth nothing for his soul of all that he desireth. Yet God give, giveth him not power to eat thereof, but the stranger eateth it. This is vanity, and it is an evil disease. If a man beget a hundred ch children and live many years, so that the days of his years be many, and his soul be not filled with good, and also that he hath no burial, I say that an untimely birth is better than he. For he cometh in with vanity, and departeth in darkness, and his name shall be covered with darkness. Moreover, he hath not seen the sun, nor known anything. This hath more rest than the other. Ye, though he live a thousand year, years twice told, yet hath, hath he seen no good. Do not all go to one place? All the labor of man is for his mouth, and yet the appetite is not filled. For what hath the wise more than the fool? What hath the poor that knoweth to walk before the living? Better is the sight of the eyes than the, than the wandering of the desire. There is also vanity and vexation of spirit, that which hath been is named already, and it is known that is a man, it is a man, neither be may he contend with him that is mightier than he. Seeing there be many things that increase vanity, what is man the better? For who knoweth what is good for man in his in this life, or the days of his vain life? which he spendeth as a shadow. For who can tell a man what shall be after him under the sun? Chapter 7 A good name is better than precious omnitment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the songs of fools. And for as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. But be not, no but, be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, what is the cause that what is the cause that the former days were better than the, than these? For thou doest not inquire wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Consider the work of God, for who can make that straight, who which he hath made crooked? In the day of prosperity be joyful, but in the day of adversity consider. God also hath set the one over against the other, to the end that man, that man should find nothing after him. All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There is a just man that perish, perisheth in his righteousness. And there is a wicked man that prolonged, pro, pro, prolonged his life in his wickedness. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? With an allusion to Jacob chapter... With an allusion to to Job chapter 15 verse 22. That sounds kind of interesting. Yeah? Does that, does this um, part of the um, scriptures teach us to kind of, uh, you know, um, 
seek pragmatism um, over idealism or whatnot. Anyway, let's continue. Um, be not over much wicked, neither be thou, be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before that time? It is good that thou shouldest take hold of this. Ye also from this withdraw not withdraw not thine hand, for he that feareth God shall come forth of them all. Wisdom, wisdom um, strengtheneth the wise more than the ten mighty men which are in the city. For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good, and sinneth not. Also take no heed unto all words that are spoken, lest thou hear thy servant curse thee. For oftentimes also thine own heart knoweth that thou, thou thyself likewise hast cursed others. All this have I proved by wisdom. I said, I will be wise, but it was far from me that which is far off and exceeded and, and exceeding deep who can find it out i applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of all of things and to know the wickedness of folly even of foolishness and madness and i find more bitter than death the woman <clears throat> and i find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands are bands. Whoso please, pleaseth God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this have I found, saith the preacher, counting one by one, to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. I repeat, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. Lo, this only have I found, that God hath made man, made, made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Oh my God. Chapter 8. Who is as the wise man? And who knoweth the in interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. I counsel thee to keep the king's command commandments, and that in regard of the oath of God, but not hasty to go out of his sight. Stand not in an evil thing, for he doeth whatsoever pleaseth him. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, What doest thou? Whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing. And a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Because to every purpose there is time and judgment. Therefore the ministry of man, therefore the misery of man, therefore the misery of man is great upon him. For he knoweth not that which shall be, for who can tell him when it shall be? There is no man that hath power over the spirit to re retain the, to retain the spirit, neither hath neither hath he the power in the day of death, and there is no discharge in that war, neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. All this I have seen, and applied my heart unto every work that is done under the sun. There is a time wherein one man ruleth over another to his own hurt. And so I saw the wicked buried, who had come and gone from the place of the holy. And there were forgotten, in the city where they had so done, there is, this is also vanity. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, his days be prolonged. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth God, not before God. There is a vanity which is done un, upon the earth, that there be just men, uh, unto whom it happeneth according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men, to whom it happeneth according to the work of the righteous. I said that this, is also, this also is vanity. Then I 
Then I commended mirth because a man hath no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be merry. For that shall abide with him of his labor the days of his life, which God giveth him under the sun. When I applied mine heart to know wisdom and to see the business that is done under upon the earth, for also there is that neither day nor night seeth sleep with his eyes. Then I beheld all the works of God that a man cannot find out the work that is done, is done under the sun. Because though a man labor to seek it out, he, yet he shall not find it. Ye, ye father, ye father, ye fa father, that's the meaning of uh, further father, the meaning of further actually. Though a wise man think to know it, yet shall he not be able to find it. Jesus. Sorry guys, if you guys can excuse me, there are still a few chapters that remain <coughs> to be read by me. Um, anyway, you know, these, I, I found, I, I, all of a sudden, I found the book of e Ecclesiastes so philosophical and so interesting and so relevant to our lives. You know, it, it's just, you know, um, God actually, you know, it, it, it appears to me that God, um, he, he never said, Things like you, you, we should for, f um, f um, forgive those um, who are obnoxious, um, who are not thankful without conditions, right? You know, since God, um, you know, He saved us with conditions that being grace and faith um, and repentance, you know. So yeah, that that um, makes me think. You know, and consider plenty of things, you know, because I always desire to gain more wisdom. That means, which means even I, you know, whom, you know, my, myself used to think, you know, I was impervious or immune to, you know, to the, to the pride of life. But yet, it turns out that I am not. Anyway guys, thanks, thank you very much for watching and listening to this video. I hope you are having a great day. Just um, give me a moment to, to say cheers. Stay tuned. Uh, I, I had to re-moisturize my throat and tongue. Um, I, I hope you guys also do, do so um, frequently, you know. To keep your body healthy and uh, you know by drinking plenty of water so yeah do bear in mind um, yeah stay tuned stay faithful and I hope I shall see you guys in the next videos on YouTube take care bye bye cheers